this week, we were invited to the launch of Knorr's new stock pot range that's now available in South Africa. And in just a little while, Jeremy Mansfield is going to make us the most amazing dish using the Knorr stock pot. But before we get there, let's take a look at what happened at the launch earlier this week. Chef Jeremy Mansfield loves to zhuzh up natural and nutritious meals in a convenient way. He's excited about Knorr's stock pot that was launched in South Africa this week. Jeremy, how will a product like this encourage South Africans to get cooking? I think it just makes it so much easier. You know, in a, in a commercial kitchen, it's pretty easy to make a stock. But in your home, just to get the amount of vegetables together as offcuts to make a stock is very, very difficult. And this is literally open pop and it's wonderfully fresh. Even your basic thing like cooking rice in a vegetable or a chicken stock just brings flavour to that part of the meal as well. And what for you is the best thing about the stock pot? I don't believe in spending a lot of time in a kitchen. When you've got friends around, you want to have time with your friends. You don't want to be standing in a kitchen. And that's why I, that's why I love this product. You know, when people make things easier for you, you can then go out and start experimenting. They've got 230 chefs who work full-time on research and development of products. Rather let those guys do the work so we don't have to. <laughs> so you definitely can't flop with this. If you flop with this, you better leave the kitchen and never come back. <laughs> Dishes like risotto are a breeze to prepare with this as your secret ingredient. Brand manager Karen Lewis knows it's all about taste. Karen, what is the key element of the stock pot? Well, the most important thing is really the fresh natural ingredients that have gone into it. So our chefs took a lot of time to distill the perfect blend of natural ingredients down. Well, we actually launched it in Europe in 2005, so it's been around for quite a while and doing really, really well there. They've actually got more variants than we've currently got available, but we're hoping that it'll be as successful here and that we can bring out those variants here too. Great for foodies, it delivers this amazing flavor so easily. The French word for stock is fond, meaning foundation, a true statement to just how important this ingredient is to the cooking process. Anna, how can a simple product like this help transform dishes for people at home? Well, with our busy lives, we don't really have much time to sit and do stocks from the beginning. I think this product will be an amazing product. You can whip it out, mix it with a bit of water, and voila, you've got a lovely, lovely stock rich in flavors and in body. For inspiration and recipes to delight your family and friends around the dining room table, visit whatsfordinner.co.za. Now when your cookbook beats Jamie Oliver's at an international cookbook award ceremony, then you know mm, your food is hot. Jeremy Mansfield and Katlejo make a beautiful cheesy leek and spinach bake today using Knorr stock pot. So without any further ado, let's go and see how they make fingers tasty in the kitchen. So I'm back in the kitchen with one of my favorite chefs to cook with. He's also the co-author of Zhuzh Faking It, right here in our kitchen, Mr. Jeremy Mansfield, and we're making something rather interesting. It's all green. It's all green going on here. What's up, Jim? I it thought is. you are a meat lover. No, no, you know what? There's so much more taste in this, and these, these new... Um, I'm loving these new stocks uh -huh. uh, from Knorr, the stock pots. Simple, tasty, yeah. no preservatives, and the thing is, it just makes cooking so much easier, Kat. And mm -hmm. you know what? They have got this... I'm, I'm not trying to sell a commercial here, <laughs> but these guys have got 260 chefs who do research and development for them. Yeah. So why do you go out and reinvent the wheel when they've already done it for you? <laughs> what we're doing here is I'm blanching these leeks okay. in, in the vegetable stock pot. That you've okay. already kind of put in there. Yeah, right. those, those have been blanching, uh -huh. okay? What I'm now going to do is transfer them some of them here, just like that, into this particular dish. Yes. Okay. We're going to take a little bit of the uh -huh. spinach. Get it right in there. Just blanch that quickly uh -huh. in the in the veg stock. Okay. Yeah. This you don't want to blanch for too long because otherwise it'll just go limp. And verlimp it, yeah. The verlimp. Verlimp it. Yeah. Uh huh. Bang that in there as well. Right. Okay. Now. Right over there. Yes, sir. You know what I'm going to do? I'm actually going to use, and this is something people should start doing. Okay. Use the stock that you have made. I was actually going to ask what, what happens to the stock afterwards. I mean, do well, you get rid of it? But it's actually, it's got a use. It's got a use. And you know what? I've, I've started cooking, if you're cooking rice, for example. Yes. Instead of just boiling it in water and salt, cook it in one stock. of those. It just gives wow. it an extra flavor. The same thing with pasta. Yeah. I'll do you, in a, maybe next week or the week after, yeah. I'll do you couscous done with stock. 
and it is absolutely magnificent. Now that is a pretty cool idea. I like that. I like yeah. that. All right. Into there. We so we're using the, using the the knorr creamy cheese Jeez. sauce. Why, why go and make it yourself when it's done there already? <laughs> okay. What there we're going to do is mix that up. Just let it settle for a while. Right. We're going to pour this over the top there. Mm -hmm. Okay. And we're going to bung that in the oven. Okay. All you need to do is bung it in for about 10 minutes. About 10 minutes. Yeah. Uh -huh. Which I actually did before we started. Which is why I'm going over here to Take a look pull there. this out, which uh, looks amazing, smells great. Here it is. Let's pull this out. Bung it down here so we can have a look. Let me just be careful not to burn myself right now because it is a pretty hot oven, 180 degrees. 180. For 10 minutes, you say? 10 minutes. And that's what it takes. Bit of chives on top. <laughs> Wow. And you know what? You know what you can also do? I mm -hmm. just thought about it now. Because you're looking at about the same cooking time. Yeah. If you want to, you can, underneath this, you can place a few little hake fillets. Oh, if you're wanting to wow. have fish with it, yes. that will cook at the same time. And there you've got a full meal for your family. That's amazing. And it, it's taken me what? It's, it's less than like two tw minutes, tw which 20, is kind of disappointing. I was hoping to spend more time with you, Dan. <laughs> but if you want to get the, ingre the ingredients of this recipe, you've got to SMS the keyword KNOR to 33728, and that also gets you an automatic entry into the competition to win uh, Jeremy's awesome book, Zhuzh, Taking It. Thank you. All right, and then also uh, a lovely hamper consisting of Le Creuset utensils. There's some lovely KNOR stock pot products there for you to win. So then you'd, you'd serve it up like that. Um, kind of, I'm, I've always wondered, I always wonder, what kind of meal would this be? A, a lunchy kind of have you know or a starter you know what you could serve that as as a family meal to be yeah. honest because you've got the taste you've got the flavors you've got your veggies in there yes um bit of fish for protein and some, protein, some, some, some bacon maybe you could put, yeah you could put, you know what you can put anything in there to yeah. be honest for the meat lovers like like you yeah <laughs> <laughs> it's a good basic recipe yeah that's simple and it's easy and it's quick. And what I want people to also know is that, you know, because they might be looking at this thinking, oh my gosh, but it's been processed through all of these chemicals. Mm -hmm. This is actually 100% uh, natural ingredients. Natural ingredients and they've been reduced right down into that stock pot. And it's just so simple and so easy. You open it up. Just like that. And uh -huh. it's, it's, it's like a gel. And you just pop and it into water. Just into like the that. water and you've got instant stock. And yeah. it is fresh and it's tasty. And there's, as you said, there's no MSG, no, no preservatives, mm -hmm. nothing put in. It's just the fresh ingredients. Lovely stuff. And just quickly with the, with the cheese sauce. So you kind of just mix it in with, the, with a bit just of the stock. pour it over the top. And you just pour it over the top. Yeah. That's bang it. that over into the oven. Bang it into the oven and it's for done. For 10 minutes. And you're done. Done. Lovely. As easy as that as you like it. And just remember, SMS the keyword KNOR to 33728 to get the recipe on your phone and also to get your entry into our competition. Jim, thank you very much. Appreciate it. Thank you, my bad. Stay with Expresso and SABC3.